Welcome to Financial PowerPoints. I don't think we've ever seen an economy in such an adjustment period and in such a time of really extreme darkness and uh, without predictability as I've seen right now. Uh, I've watched the economies over the past 40 years, really, since I was a teenager, watching them go up and down, but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. And one of the things that we really have to do is realize that our economy and our businesses and our finances are going through what I would call like the dark hour of the sanctuary, where there's not a lot of light, there's, there's not a lot of places in the natural just to rest and say, okay, let's just be at peace. I mean, there's threats of war in the Middle East, there's threats of seven to $10 a gallon gasoline, um, there's food crises coming, uh, there's, there's all these things, and we have to be able to say, we're going to still ourselves. We have to do like David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. You know, the miracle is for you and I is we need to be reminded on these financial PowerPoints that it's Christ in us that is our hope and glory. And one of the ways that is better said, I think, is in Psalms 46. And I want to speak this word to you. God is in the midst of her. He's in the midst of him. You, God, is in the midst of you. He's in the center of your life. And it says, she shall not be moved. I want you to hear this, that in the name of Jesus, you will not be moved because it's the Lord's strength holding you in this storm. And then it goes on to say, God shall help her and he will. And he even says when, he says, just at the break of dawn, just at the break of dawn. So when the darkness has run its full cycle of night, that's when the help comes. It comes at dawn. So many times people do not want to exercise their faith, they don't want to be patient, and they don't want to be long-suffering. But child of God, on these financial PowerPoints, you are going to have to wait for the reshuffling and trust God and not be pulled into fear and not be pulled into doubt so that the rewards can come to you. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for supernatural strength to be at peace in the darkness. That, Lord, we don't fear the darkness because we know help comes at the dawn. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.